what really attracted me uh, in the Atmos, it, it's something that I've been interested in since I was a child. Uh, I first remember cutting some pages from magazines, probably when I was an early teenager. So I've always been fascinated by the Atmos. I'm not sure why. I think primarily because the object uh, is one of those objects which is timeless in many ways. Uh, in other ways it's a completely anachronistic object as well. But I think for me what's important is it's, it's one of those things which is a constant. It hasn't really changed fundamentally from a technical perspective for, you know, close to a hundred years. I love objects like that. Uh, I think it stood the test of time. It's a classic. It's an iconic, one of the most iconic objects. So it's really uh, an honor to be able to be a part of the, the history of such, a, of such an object. It will be always valuable, um, inherently precious, not only because of the way it's made and the materials that it's made from, but because the relationship that it has to, to people specifically the owners, but also people um, that will inherit such an object. It's really a pleasure to be here again. Yeah, it's obviously not the first time I've been here. It's, uh, I think the first time was uh, more than 10 years ago. So it's really a pleasure to be back. It's always an extremely valuable experience for me to come to places like this, where I can watch experts do what they do. Um, because in the end, for me, the creative process is also about learning as well. Um, I like the idea that at the end of the process I come away with more knowledge than I did when I, when I started.